What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. This is high level player walkthrough for the contest. Okay, so I told you guys that I was going to be playing comp competitively this week and that I was going to be updating you guys with all of my choices. Last night, the contest of mayors started and I stayed up a little late just to get a head start on things and to go ahead and uh, update you guys this morning with some of my choices and explain how the high level contest of mayors is, you know, for us high level players. So first off, let me just say, I don't miss this. <laughs> it's already been expensive. Uh, for those of you who have never played the contest of mayors as a high level player, you might want to really tune in for this because this will this will be the point when you realize why it is so important for you to remain below level 30 and continue to playing the contest so that you don't have these types of issues or why you should not unlock regional maps. Okay, so if this doesn't make you want to remain a low level and play competitively, I don't know what will. So let's start off with the fact that I'm in Metro. So I started with 50 tasks. Okay, now I have to place within a certain number of players in order to be eligible to go into Mega next round, which I need to do. And at my level, people get pretty competitive even in Metro. So I actually pretty much need to give it my all in order to get into Mega. So I just decided, you know what, rather than doing it half-assed and confusing people, I'm just going to play as if I'm in Mega because at my level, I pretty much have to do that in order to guarantee that I get into Mega. Okay, so starting off with the very first choice, it's pretty obvious what my first choice is here, and that is the board deliveries for 2,500. Now, if you're somebody who's playing the contest of mayors as a high-level player, and you use the, the excuse, if you already are starting off, well, we're not in war. Well, my club doesn't do war for two days. You failed. I'm just being honest. I mean, I, I know that you're probably rolling your eyes like, okay, whatever. I'm serious. You failed. You have failed. You cannot play calm competitively if you cannot do all of your tasks. And I cannot stress that enough. Okay, I cannot tell you how many people have hit me up for help with the contest. And they start with the, well, I can't do this. Well, you know, uh... This doesn't come in for a couple of days. And I go, well, you had two days to prep. So why did you click on this and open up your regional shipments too early? Oh, well, I forgot. Or, okay, so then why didn't you make regional maps, or not regional maps, regional items to sell on your regional maps for that coin task? Oh, well, I don't know. Like, that's my point. You have to take this seriously if you want to win as a high-level player. Okay. All right. So the very first choice here, we're going to go through and do, we're going to do a task assessment and then we'll go through the couple of choices that I was able to get done last night. Uh, war deliveries is the highest valued task. So it's premium. It's the highest value. It's probably going to be my first choice. Then we have the uh, fin delivery, um, whatever you call it, the coins, the fin coins, regional coins at 1950. Now that's a 2000 place value. It's considered, I would consider this a premium task. Okay. Normally it doesn't come in for anything higher than 2600, but I would still consider it to be one of your premiums. It's something that you have to do when it pops up, if it's worth 2000 points or higher, right? Uh, the residential building for 1600 is also doable at my, my level, okay? Um, it just, it kind of depends on, on what we got going on here. So then we've got repair disasters for 1600. Minerals, coins, which we're not going to be touching coins, really, unless it's our highest value task and we have no other premium. I've, I really see very little options to be touching coins. Um, the smoothies for 14. And then we've got Omega at 1,000. Now, this is a premium task, and it's sitting there with 1,000 points, so I need to keep that in, in mind. I also need to keep in mind that I have deliveries to Tokyo at 1,000, and I have the Monster at 1,000, which is perfect. I don't want to touch it because it'll come back uh, 
again, and it can't be worth three thousand. It can only be worth two thousand or twenty five hundred. Um, twenty five hundred is the max. Now, what's frustrating about the monster is it's on a timer. Okay, so it's really good if it's worth two thousand points or higher to get that. Uh, taken care of so that it's on your list with a low points value. So if you have it worth 2,000 points or higher, get it done. Get it off your list immediately. Don't don't screw around. Okay, uh, Cactus Canyon is another one at 1,000 points that is premium. So I've got one, two, three tasks right now that are sitting at 1,000 points that could be 3,000 point tasks. I need to keep that in mind when I do my rotation. And then I have the war booster. Now, normally you would never touch the war booster because it almost always used to come back. They've recently changed that. And so if you need to, and you have nothing else rotatable, no better options, you can do the war booster. Okay. All right. So let's figure out what we got going on. So my very first choice is war deliveries for 2,500. That's a given. All right, so then I get this Neo Simoleons for 1,000. Now, Neo Simoleons are not considered premium. They're not terrible. Uh, they come in usually worth about 2,000 points at the most, and they're not uh, they're not ideal. Okay, so I'm going to leave that sit. So my next option here is what? The regional coins. They're my highest premium task that I have available right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I went and did my regionals. Okay, now I have 1,500 on the metal and I have 1,500 on the minerals, but I've prepped electrical and I've got 60 electric sitting and it, I'm only two tasks in. So rather than clear that out just quite yet, especially when I, I have that uh, upgrade residential for 1,600, the reason that I did the upgrade residential for 1,600 is because it's so close to 2,000 points that I want to get that placement taken care of. So I went ahead and did the uh, residential for 1,600 because also because I'm in Metro. If I was in Mega, I probably would have cleared out the electrical and done the minerals. And the reason for that is because of the fact that it's only 10 points lower, but it opens up better possibilities. Okay, whereas like the upgrade residential, the only thing I technically opened up was the maximum would be getting a upgrade, a uh, regular residential upgrade worth 2,400 points. So I have better opportunities if I was to do the minerals. Okay, now why would I pick minerals over uh, metal? Well, I'm going to tell you why, because it's 60 points higher and that matters in Mega at this level. Okay, at this level, competitive level, you can pretty much guarantee that at the end of the week, most of the time, the leaderboard, the top 10 players on the leaderboard at level 99 are within three to 4,000 points of each other, 10 players. So every point counts. And I probably would have went with minerals because of that, knowing also that I'm going to be clearing those minerals anyways, you know, relatively soon. So, uh, just keep that in mind, okay? Now, the repair disasters is 1,600, but it's non-premium. And given that it's only 10 points lower, I would have taken that 10 points and risked opening up a premium placement. Okay. Now, I went ahead and I did the upgrade regular residential because I'm in Metro, and I wanted to kind of explain that decision and why I made it the way that I did. Now, I went ahead and I started prepping the smoothies. Now I had already prepped donuts and I told you guys that I have a lot of golden tokens, uh, epic projects, and I have seven golden tokens that are not collected in my, uh, my pass. And I also have tons of them on my regional maps that I haven't collected. So me prepping my shops is not as important as some of you guys may need. If you're limited to your tokens or your city doesn't regenerate tokens as much as mine does, then it's very important that you prep your shops 100% of the time. If you're a lower level player, again, very important that you guys are prepping your shops. Okay, so I went ahead and I decided 
that it would be in my best interest to go ahead and make those, get those smoothies going. You know, because even if uh, I did get a donuts task, it wasn't going to be, you know, for a while anyway, because I have so many other things to do. So I collected one of the donuts and I went ahead and put down a smoothie. And then I proceeded on. So make sure that when you guys are um, prepping things that you you don't just clear the whole damn thing out. Not unless you can really afford to just burn through tokens. If you can't afford to be burning through your tokens, then you need to play as efficiently as possible. Okay. So I went ahead and I did that, uh, that upgrade. And I got a 2600 complete rows in export HQ. Now these are your regional exports. So what you have to do is you go to your regional map and you do, you complete regional shipments. Okay. I had to do seven. So if you only have one regional map unlocked and you get this task, that's 10 cash or two hour wait. And then you have 20 cash or two hour wait, right? And then you have to do a third uh, row. Now, lucky for me, I have uh, multiple regionals and I didn't click any of my regional um, shipments or, you know, prematurely. So I know that they're all ready for me the moment that I click on them. So I went ahead and I was able to get those done actually pretty quickly because I had a well-rounded inventory. And uh, I was able to clear that. And so then I got cargo for 1800. Now this is my highest task. Now it's not premium, but because of its points value and it's my highest task, it's my next best option here. So I went ahead and I did the uh, cargo shipments, which mind you was a nightmare because I had to waste a whole golden token on hammers because it wanted 17 of them. Yeah, it was a nightmare. Um, okay, so then I got an epic project right after, which sucks. And remember when I told you guys that you have to prepare? Like you really, you have to be prepared for anything? Well, I didn't have a choice. So I had to do the epic project. So I went ahead and I started my Epic. I got that done really quickly. Um, I still have it sitting there. You know, I still have a couple points that I can, a little bit of wiggle room that I can use if I have another Epic task pop up rather than have to start a whole new Epic. But I also don't have a cooldown period because I knew that prior to this contest, I prepped and I said, you know what? If I get multiple Epic projects, I need to not only be prepared for that coins wise, but I need to be prepared for that in terms of upgrading residentials. So all week I've been upgrading regular homes on each and every map so that I have them available if need be. Okay. So if you guys are in that situation, like let's say that you have uh, like three regionals, what, there is no cooldown between doing epics on a different map. So once you complete an epic on your capital, you have a 12 hour cooldown. But if you complete your epic on your capital and you immediately, you can do an epic on your regional. So make sure that you have those upgraded regular residential homes done and ready for if you come into this problem, okay? That is one way for you high level players to prep for the contest. Now, I went ahead and I got that done. Now I've got Paris deliveries for 2,400. Again, this is a non-premium task, but it's still worth 2,400 points. The reason that I haven't rotated any of those low premiums is because I've have, I have better options still, right? So if these were giving me all tasks worth maybe 1,800 points or so or less, I would have already rotated something. But given the fact that I've still been doing 2,000 point, pretty much 2,000 point or higher tasks, I'm going to keep up with what I've, what I've got going on, right? And so that is the final decision that I've made, and I'm still working on my Paris deliveries. Now, if you pay very close attention, I've spent quite a, a great deal of cash already, okay? So I had to do those three cargos. That was 30 cash. Then I had to do the Paris, okay? So I have to do three of those which I already had one of them ready because before the contest, I went through and I checked my airport and I said, okay, this one, you know, it was 12 hours before the contest started. 
you open up your airport. If it says cargo or, or shipment leaves in X amount of time, click new shipment. Start the timer now. There's no sense in waiting six hours and then starting the timer. You know, when comm starts in 12 hours, get that timer started now. Request new shipment. Also, a little tip, if you pre-pack the boxes, you cannot request another shipment. You have to fulfill that shipment. So just be aware of that. Okay, so that being said, this is the latest update with what I've got going on as of last night. So as of last night, I had done, uh, set, I was working on my seventh task and I have 12,000 points. Okay, so I'm right around my 2K average. Actually, I'd be a little higher once I finish my seventh task. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload this and I'm going to put this on a playlist that says um, high level contest of mayor's walkthrough. Okay, so all of my updated videos are going to go to this playlist, but I am going to be doing some of this stuff on a live stream. So be sure to, when you click my channel, there's a whole separate thing when you click videos, There, if you click live videos. I have a whole ton of live streams that I do almost daily. So if you're somebody who uh, didn't know that, you know, I do live stream, you can go back and watch those and kind of go through and see. Most of them are designs, you guys. Um, you know, me designing and talking to people and answering questions. But be sure to tune in if you, you know, you're interested in that. And I'm going to continue to take screenshots, even though I'm doing it on a live stream so that I can update you guys for those of you who uh, don't watch the live streams. OK. All right. So I'm going to get this uploaded. I'm going to get some stuff done today and then we'll go ahead and I'll uh, probably record another video after the live stream to update you guys of uh, the decisions that we made on live stream. And then tomorrow, the same thing will happen. OK. All right. And then next week, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and be doing the same thing. Now, we hit a thousand subs recently, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the monetization and all that. And, you know, it's free. Like, why the hell not? Right. Just click the dang button. OK, I will see you guys here in a little bit.